This is Ben from Life in 360. And this is Austin with Austin Makes Films. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to denoise your 360 footage using Adobe Premiere CC 2018. Something that 360 cameras aren't the best at is capturing low light footage. So at the moment, they all suck to be frank at 360 <laughs> video ca capturing nighttime because you can't really get those high ISOs. Something like an A7S or an A7R2 would get in low light. You can't get that full manual control over your 360 camera. Therefore, even the best one, which is going to be something like the Theta V, is still going to give you noise in really low light. However, that's where this plugin comes in. It's really handy, it's a new addition to CC 2018. Any footage is going to have a little bit of noise at night with some types of cameras. And it's very important to be able to remove some of that noise in post. Luckily, like Ben was saying, some of the new features right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 have just that solution. So we're going to dive into Premiere now. We've already have it pulled up and you've supplied some awesome footage here from it looks like Venice Beach. Yeah, in Venice Beach, this was from my Theta V review when I was showing off the low light capabilities. And while it is an awesome camera there still is a little bit of noise and it looks especially pronounced because of the stretching and some of that may actually pronunciate I guess a little bit more with VR so for you VR people out there if you are working with something like this don't worry this footage is completely salvageable all you have to do now in the new Premiere CC 2018 you go under your effects and you want to look up immersive now immersive is going to throw a whole bunch of really cool tools at you for VR all dedicated and native to Premiere now so the cool thing about this is we can take this denoise effect right here we'll just drag that onto our clip and we'll see instantly a bit of change up here at the top so what it's done is it softened that noise out and it smoothed it out the greatest thing about this is it will smooth it out it's not going to completely remove I mean you can't really completely remove any kind of noise but when it comes to denoising an image this is probably going to be your best bet when it comes to denoising VR footage yeah it looks really excellent and what I like about it is it is able to seek out the noisier parts of the image and leave the lighter bits untouched that's really important because you don't want your mid-tones and your highlights to be affected. And I found this has been really good at just isolating those noisy bits. It's important to note that for this particular feature, if you're just a filmmaker and you're wanting to do just regular video or try and apply this to regular video, these tools inside Adobe Premiere are optimized to deal with a VR workflow. So it's important to note that this isn't really going to work on your regular footage as much as it will in VR. So Adobe's made it really easy to get this clear clean look right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Until next time, this has been Ben and Austin. And Austin, where can they find you on social media? You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films, and you can find my YouTube channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials on youtube.com forward slash Austin Newman. Also, feel free to subscribe on mine. Hit that subscribe button down there, youtube.com slash life in 360 photo. Also, I'm on Instagram, instagram.com slash Ben Claremont. And until next time, keep capturing your world in 360. We will see you in the next video.